Hey, Ari here from Sick Buyers Guru at the Fantex booth at CES 2020. They have a number of new cases on display. The P400A was a very successful launch in mid-2019, and they're going to be expanding that design motif out up and down the product stack. This is the one I'm most excited about, the P500A. So this is using a, a larger chassis, as you can see. It still has that ultra-fine performance mesh in the front. They're going to come uh, in two different models. First, uh, $100 with no fans, and then what I think is more interesting is the $130 version with these three digital RGB fans in front and a built-in hub to control that. You can also connect that to your motherboard to sync it with other components in your system. I think that's going to be a real winner. That's a really, really nice case and actually has a hinge door, which I'll show you right now. Fantex was one of the first companies to innovate. You know, these hinge doors are so slick looks so good it really makes it feel like a premium case uh, starting at $100 but like I said the $130 SKU is going to be the interesting one with those three fans in front I think that's a that's a good value for three digital RGB fans we also have the P300A which is again coming in at $60 so the value leader in the Fantex lineup uh, the big difference from the original P300 of course is the higher airflow from that mesh it still comes with one rear 120 millimeter fan and then over here, we've got the new Enthu Pro 2. The Enthu Pro was a classic case released probably three or four years ago. It was a big case. Well, the Pro 2 is even bigger. It's using the chassis from the Lux 2, also known as the 719. So this is a really big chassis. It actually fits two systems. As you can see here, uh, this, it fits oversized motherboards or you can use an ATX motherboard and a mini ITX motherboard side by side. This is two systems side by side in this chassis and it fits beautifully. So you can game on the big system and, and stream on your small system. So you can see they have a capture card installed. They're using their vertical GPU bracket and they will be selling a PCI riser card so you can attach that to your motherboard. So a really, really slick setup. Uh, this one's going to be coming in quarter, uh, quarter two, and it's going to be coming in at $130. Like the 719, it doesn't come with any fans. So they're targeting uh, professional users here who may decide they're going to install their own fans or uh, they, whether they want to use digital RGB or not, it's going to really depend on the user. So they decide, so Fantex decided to keep the price low in a chassis this large with, with this many features. They would just drop the fans and let the user decide which ones to include. I should mention that like the Pro 2, the P500A is going to be launching in quarter two. And the, uh, actually the, the, the big case release here at CES is this smaller one. The P300A is launching tomorrow. Uh, January 8th, and that's coming in at $60, like I said. So that's the only one that's actually going to hit retail during CES. Now, not long ago, Fantex did release a new line of cases called the Metal Gear line. They've got different designers who make these cases, and the idea here is really fair price point and a lot of style. So you can see there's a ton of style in these cases. The Neo Pro kind of emulates something you may have seen from Apple that comes in at $5,000. Well, this comes in at 60, so it's a lot less money. You get a single 120 millimeter fan with the chassis. Is that right? Yeah. And of course, you get really good airflow through this cheese grater style grill. It's really, really cool. Um, you also can opt for the Neo Matrix, which clearly has some pixel art in the front. They're still working on it. This is a prototype. Um, in terms of the control and different art schemes, you're going to get. Uh, but it is a really neat for anyone who's into retro art like this and this is gonna be coming in at a hundred dollars That's probably more like uh, Q3 whereas the Neo Pro is going to also hit uh, Q2 uh, At the $60 price point so around Computex for both of these but this one over here is still a prototype now, The last thing I want to show you is something super super cool while every other company out there is coming out with headsets, Fantex is actually going to be selling desktop speakers, which I think is awesome. And of course, these emulate the Evolve, the classic design of that awesome chassis. Um, so they're marketing these for owners of the Evolve cases. But you know what? I think these look so good that anyone would love to have these speakers. These are going to be called the Evolve Sound Mini. These are a retail product. 
And this is coming out tomorrow. So uh, this is also being launched at CES. It's coming in at $30. It's going to hit retail. And I think this is super awesome. It has digital RGB strips built in that you can control via buttons on the side. And this is just a whole huge step up from the typical cheap speakers you can find at that price point that just don't have any style and are just big blobs on your desk. These are really a cool talking point and look sweet. Now, in that same vein, we have a prototype soundbar over here. This is actually a Bluetooth speaker. So this is competing in a slightly different market, although you can attach it to your PC like we see here. These are paired up in Bluetooth and being used as PC speakers. This is really uh, competing in the Bluetooth speaker market. So these are, this is a prototype. They're aiming to hit, uh, to hit around $100 with this speaker. And it's probably going to come out in Q3. Um, and of course, this is a huge market, people wanting to listen to music on their phones, um, but through a speaker. So this is going to be a really good solution for them. And it has plenty of style, a lot more style than all those other Bluetooth speakers you see out there on the market that are frankly selling for a lot more. So I think Fantex could have some hits on his hand, hands with these new speakers. Uh, really cool extension of the brand from Fantex. As always, I'm Ari from Tech Bars Guru. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you soon.